Hey everyone, this is Patricia with you. And um, I have a layout that I had an idea that I wanted to use those pink foam thickers and add gesso to them to change the color of a title. But as I laid my photo down, I decided to freehand draw a heart and then just start randomly adding different um, letters from, that, um, from those thickers all the way around to make a heart. And this is one of those ideas that it's spontaneous and you just go with it and you really don't know if it's going to come out well or not. But I just kept going and um, here's the gesso. I'm going to add that with a paintbrush and it cover it as well as I can on the top. And some of the sides, as you can see later on, will be exposed, which is kind of nice because it gives it a nice soft look to it. But um, I'm going to continue around and add the gesso. And then I'm going to start adding the gesso to the center of the heart and add a little bit of texture inside the heart. And I don't have to worry about uh, erasing the pencil marks because the gesso is going to cover that up for me. And the pencil mark there to the left is the picture is going to go over that. So I'm not worried about that. To get a little bit better coverage inside the heart, I'm going to use an old credit card to smooth that, smooth that down. But I'm leaving it a little thick so then I can take that textured brayer and go over it. And as I go over it, I ended up being a little too heavy handed and I didn't like it. So I just took my old credit card and went back over and redid it a little lightly. And it doesn't come out perfectly, but I like just a little bit of texture that it gives to it. This was a very late night layout and a very quick one. So I wanted to speed up the process and used my heat gun to dry the gesso. And now um, I'm just going to freehand cut off some of the edges so that I can hear, adhere this whole thing to a piece of pattern paper. With um, so much on the cardstock, it makes it really heavy. And adding another layer to the background not only adds more color and texture, but it gives a little bit more support to the layout. And now on to another idea that I wanted to do for this layout. I'm using the Delusions ink. It's the teal ink and a paintbrush. And I'm just dropping um, drops all over the layout. And then I'll use a water pen brush to add water to each one of those spots. And this is something that I had seen years ago, Amy Tan had done with a straw. And I've done it with a straw, but it really gets me lightheaded. So I'm just gonna use the heat gun to blow these little blobs around and have them go in different directions. And this is a really cool technique because um, you have to really just let it go and not worry about the direction. Sometimes that these little drops go into or which way they go, but um, you can sometimes have a little bit of control. You can kind of push them around. When I started scrapbooking and creating mixed media and different techniques were the things that I, I did a lot of. I did art journaling and things like that. And um, to be honest, sometimes these pages are the hardest for me because as the older I get, um, I tend to just want neatness on a page. And these pages can be very messy, they can be very bulky, but they can also be very beautiful pages. And you just have to experiment and try and see what works best for you. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of a purple color here. It's a neon purple. And um, that one I can just splatter from the tube. It comes out pretty easily. And do the same technique. I'm gonna add some water to them. That's the most important step is you have to add a little bit of water to each one so that they'll spread and, and move. And then um, it's really good to add a third color. So I'm gonna add that other Delusions bubblegum pink color to this and do the same thing. And I like that there's different amounts of colors. The teal and the bubblegum pink are the main colors and just a little bit of that purple in there. So it's a really nice balance of three different colors to pull from that photo that I've selected. And these were pretty large drops, so I'm gonna keep moving these around as much as I can, and then I will try my best to just dry those little spots. Because like I said, this is a late night layout that I did quickly, and I just wanted to keep moving on and finish up the layout. 
So now I'm going to add a little bit of vellum, freehand trace that on there and cut that out. I want to add a little bit of softness to those bright, beautiful colors. And since my colors are really taking shape, I really like the black and white pattern paper background better than that green background. I'm going to tuck in this piece of Amy Tan paper. It's a nice gray charcoal color. That's the side that my photo is going to go on and that'll draw attention to that side where the photo is. And more freehand here. Um, it's my favorite way to scrapbook. Do not have to use any other tools but scissors sometimes. And I'm going to trim that out and I know that's going to go there. And now I'm just going to lay um, some washi tape. I like that this says happiness is and this I think is going to be the start of my title. And then I'm going to start pulling out just different pieces of ephemera. I like this uh, chipboard piece from the crepe paper with the My Mind's Eye. I'm going to staple that all together so that photo now is movable. It's not totally adhered to that back. There's no adhesive on that. After I used my heat gun to dry a little bit more of the mist and colors in the background, I used my sewing machine to stitch around that heart in gray thread. So now I'm going to start just laying different pieces of ephemera from the kits to see, just get an idea of how this is going to shape up. But I want to move on to the most important thing, and this is the title. And I really, this was also another idea. I knew I wanted to use these letters because I just love this color. It's gorgeous. I love the way it pops. I love the size of them. They're just perfect. So... I tried to look on Pinterest and try to get an idea of what happiness is and I kept looking at the photo and my daughter had been sick with um, fever, it was really, really high, almost at 105. We'd gone to the emergency room and she was finally feeling better. This was Valentine's Day. I can tell from the photo she's still not herself, but I kept looking at the photo and I knew that I wanted it to be happiness is making and creating simple joys. So I'm going to create um, that title here. I use some of the My Mind's Eye Rebel ones. So it's a little mix of uh, using different things to create the title. But that main thing and the main um, part of the title are those gorgeous, gorgeous blue alphabets. I just love those. So now that I have the main part of the design and the title and the photo, I'm going to go ahead and, and hear that photo. I know for sure that's going to go there. And I'm just going to play around and move around some of the ephemera from my mind's eye from the main kits. And um, that balloon is not the color, part of the color theme, but I really just like it. It's a little unexpectedness of colors there, and it just adds a little interest. So I'm just going to continue to do that, adding little things around, adding some of the enamel dots. They look, like, they look like little mist splatters. I love those. And I'm going to add, you'll see in a little bit, I, um, I did take some of the bulk of the layers from the bottom of the clusters. I took some of that away. I wanted to keep it a little simple and added a date stamp to it. And uh, a little bit more stitching. And, and then I added a little bit of journaling around the heart and my own handwriting. I will do my own handwriting, but... It worked perfectly here because it really went with the design. Whether you're inspired to create a frame like this or to just create a simple title and alter the color, I hope this inspires you in some way.